In this video, we show you how to make a Minecraft Bedrock server. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. If you want to play Minecraft Bedrock with your friends without using Realms, I'll show you how to do it. This lets you run your own Bedrock server, so you're not limited by Realm slots or subscriptions. The method I'll show you here runs the server on your own PC, which means your server is only online when your computer is on. And you also need to pull forward and share your IP with anyone who joins. If you want a simple, quick, and safe method instead, you can use Apex Hosting, which is the sponsor of this video they handle everything for you so you don't need to pull forward and your server stays online 24 7. their setup process is incredibly easy you just need to pick your server and it's ready to go in minutes their performance is solid so you don't have to worry about lag and everything is managed through a simple control panel if you're interested the link is in the description and pinned in the comments if you use their service you're supporting the channel so thank you so much Alright, so first we need the official Minecraft Bedrock server files. You can go to the official Minecraft website, which is minecraft.net. And once you're here, you want to go to games. And then on the bottom left, click on go to downloads. Now just scroll down and under Minecraft server software, you're going to click Bedrock Edition server. Now here you're going to select your system. I'm using Windows. So for the software version, I'll select Windows. Check their EULA if you agree. And then hit download. Save it somewhere on your PC. By default, it'll go to your downloads folder. So just hit save and the download will start. After it's done, go to your downloads folder and you'll have bedrock server files in a zip file. So here, we need to extract this first. I'll move it to my desktop here so you can see it better. To extract this, you can right click and then hit extract all. Hit extract, wait a bit. After it's done, you will now have the server files in a folder. So let's go ahead and open it up. Inside it, you'll see a bunch of stuff. And to start a server, you're going to run bedrockserver.exe. Just double click on it. It'll open up a terminal. If you see this, just hit allow. And after it says server started, it means that your server is running. And now we can launch Minecraft and try to join the server. All right, now I'm inside Minecraft Bedrock. And now we can hit play. And then you want to go to the servers tab, hit add server. And here you can type in anything for the server name and for the server address. If you're joining the server locally, you can press Windows and then type in CMD. Just like that. So command prompt, open it up. And then type in ipconfig. Press enter and look through the network you're currently using. The server address is going to be IPv4. So it's this one for me. So what I can do is select all of it and then press Ctrl C on my keyboard. Go back to Minecraft and press Ctrl V to paste those number in. Now you can hit add server. After that, you can scroll down. Make sure you select the server you just added and hit play. Now let's see if I can connect. And if you do everything correctly, you'll spawn into the server. All right, at this point, your Bedrock server is running on your PC, but right now, it only works for you. If you want your friends outside your network to join, we need to port forward the server. Port forwarding basically tells your router where to send incoming Minecraft traffic so people can actually connect to your server. Now here, I'll explain to you how to do it, but once again, this will be a bit complicated. So if you want to skip this step, you can use Apex hosting instead. All right, now to start port forwarding, we need to check which port your Bedrock server is using. You can go back to to your server files and then look for server.properties. You can open it with notepad, so right click on it and then select edit in notepad. There will be a bunch of stuff here, but what you need to look for is the server port, especially the IPv4 one. So it's going to be 19132. You can copy this so we can do the next step easier. Now let's close this. The next step is to make sure that Windows Firewall doesn't block your Bedrock server. You can click the start button and type in Firewall. So it's going to be this one, Windows Defender Firewall. Open it up. So here what we do is to add inbound and outbound rules for your Minecraft server. If you see on the left, there's inbound rules and also outbound rules. Let's start with inbound rules. Let's click that. And then on the right, you're going to click new rule. It'll open up this window. You're going to select port and then hit next. You're going to select TCP first. And for the local ports, paste in the bedrock ports you just copied. So right click and hit next. Allow the connection. Hit next again. And here, select everything and hit next. Here, I'll name it Minecraft inbound TCP. So hit finish. And next, we're going to add inbound rules for UDP. So click new rule again on the right and then select port just like before. Hit next again. And now select UDP, paste the port. Hit next, allow the connection, hit next again, select everything, next, name it Minecraft inbound UDP and hit finish. And now the inbound rules are done. We're going to do the same for outbound rules. So click outbound rules on the right and then hit new rule and then select port, hit next. We're going to do TCP first, paste the port, hit next, and then allow the connection, hit next, select everything, hit next again, and then you're going to name it Minecraft outbound TCP and we're going to add the UDP one. So hit new rule again, select port, hit next, select UDP, select UDP this time, and then paste the port, hit next, allow the connection, hit next, select everything, and name it Minecraft Outbound UDP, hit finish. There we go, it's all done. Now you can close Windows Defender, and next we're going to port forward your router. 
To do that, you can open up CMD again, type in CMD, command prompt, open it up, type in ipconfig again, press enter, and here what you need to look for is the default getaway of your network. So I'm using Ethernet 3 here, the default getaway is this one. So I can select all of it and then press Ctrl C on my keyboard, go to my browser and paste the numbers here, and paste the numbers here. Press enter and after you do that, you should see a login page. Now here you're going to log in using your router's username and password. If you're not sure what it is, you can check the back of the router or your ISP's documentation. Once you're logged in, we need to find the port forwarding settings. This part looks different on every router, so don't worry if it doesn't look the same as mine. Look around the menus for sections called port forwarding, virtual server, NAT, NAT port forwarding, gaming, or application. You might need to open an advanced or network section first, and sometimes it's hidden under the security application settings. If you really cannot find it, just google your router's brand name and say something like port forwarding. Now here for me, I can go to forward rules on the top, and then I can go to port mapping configuration. Once you found the port forwarding section on your router, you should see a button that says new, add or something similar. For me, it's new, so let's click that, and then you'll see a bunch of fields that we need to fill in. First, look for mapping name, surface name, rule name, description, or application name, and you can type in Minecraft or anything you want here. Next, I have to fill in internal host. It might be internal IP address, server IP, device IP, or local IP for you. So this is where you enter your computer's local IP address. If you're not sure what it is, go back to command prompt, and it's gonna be the IP v4 address. You can select that again, press Ctrl C on your keyboard, and paste it here. And then for me, there is external source IP address. You can leave this blank so anyone can connect to your server. You can leave this blank so anyone can connect to your server. Next, I can click add here to extend it. So for the protocol, if your router lets you choose TCP slash UDP, you can select that. If it only lets you pick one, you'll need to create two rules later, one for TCP and one for UDP. I'll select TCP UDP and then for external port number, you're gonna put your bedrock server port. So let's do that. If you have two box like me here, just put in the port in both. You're gonna do the same for internal port number. So let's paste that and that's done. Now you can hit apply and now the port forwarding is done. All right, to test this, you can restart your bedrock server and let's launch Minecraft bedrock. I'm inside the game now, go to the service tab, hit add server and here just type in your server name and then for the server address now everyone who wants to join the server can use your public ip to join the server if you don't know what's your public ip you can just search what's my ip on google and then go to one of these websites here and the public ip is going to be the ip v4 this number here just copy it and paste it into the server address now you can hit add server and let's see if i can join and i can join the server with the public ip now if your friends wants to join they can use your public ip for the server address now you have to be careful with this because your public IP can be dangerous if it's leaked. And also with the port forwarding method, your public IP can change sometimes, which is not practical if you're playing with your friends. You have to tell them every time it changes. If you want to do it a simple way, you, you can use Apex Hosting. And here I'll show you how easy it is to set it up with Apex Hosting. To start, you can click the link in the description. And once you're here, you need to buy the server first. You can pick the server you want. And after you have it, they'll send you an email for the control panel password. And then just log in with the password. And once you're inside the panel, your server is already running, as you can see here. So to select Minecraft Bedrock, you can scroll down to game file section and then click on the drop down and select bedrock dedicated server after you do that you need to restart the server and after a few seconds it's all done now from there you can use the ip address and port for you and your friends to join you can also set a subdomain you can even change it if you want and also use it as the server address so let's see if it works all right so let's copy the ip address Go back to Minecraft Bedrock and then add server. I'll name it Minecraft Bedrock Apex Hosting. And for the server address, let's paste in the IP address. And then let's go back to the panel and copy the port. Copy it and paste in the port. Hit add server and that's basically it. Now you can hit play and that's it. You don't need to port forward. You don't need to worry about your IP getting leaked. And also the server will be online all the time. So that's it.